Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to the Do It For Dale Fantasy Cup and NASCAR Thunder 2004. I know, I know, it's been a while. All I can say is that I, I had a rough few weeks. I, oh my gosh, just so much crap happened that I actually haven't even fully, like, talked about as far as, like, with my main channel, there was all kinds of things happening good and bad, um, and then just a lot of, like, stress and not feeling well, it was, it's just been a, it's been a few weeks, and that's why there hasn't been this, um, honestly, I've recorded basically nothing, I've streamed every night still and all that, and yeah, I probably could have just done a stream night of this to keep some episodes going, but I don't know, man, I just didn't feel like it, I just did not feel up to it, until today. So we're going to get in an episode here and uh, hopefully be back on track for a while because my gosh, I never intended to <laughs> deprive you guys of this for almost a month. So yeah. <sighs> All right. So today's episode, we are going to Talladega at night, which is going to be a thing. Um, and then also the Salt Mill Speedway fantasy road course so that's going to be interesting just looking at this like how much we've won we've won all but two races actually which is interesting um but yeah we are gonna we're gonna be going to talladega now typically i've said plate races i want to qualify at because i don't want to take a chance of losing the draft at the beginning however we've been so overpowered and we've won so many races and, you know, I'll be able to use maybe some pit strategy to gain some time if I need to. So I'm going to risk it. We are going to do a last to first challenge at Talladega and see how that goes for us. But, uh, yeah, uh, paint scheme, what do we want? Um, we'll go... We'll go back to Coca-Cola, I guess. I don't remember what order I've done these things in, it, to be perfectly honest anymore. So it'll just be picked at random, you know. But anyway, let's do this for day. Okay, here we go. Hopefully starting last isn't a terrible idea. MRN presents NASCAR Winston Cup Racing Under the Lights, live from the Talladega Super Speedway, located in Talladega, Alabama. Racing doesn't get any more exciting than this, Barney. Lots of different opinions about this restrictor plate racing. These drivers love the speed. It's what they live for. In fact, some think they should run with no plates at all, so the cars would be more spread out. Speeds would be well over 215 miles an hour. But that doesn't seem to bother most of the drivers. It's the fact that they can't break away from each other with the plates on the cars that bother them. Jerry Nadeau doesn't have too good of a record at these big super speedways. Yeah, these big tracks have definitely not been kind to him this season. Don't count him out yet, though. That team has been working extra hard since they rolled off the truck. Dale Earnhardt just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. I forgot how much Mike Skinner hates us. Holy crap. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your Let's see how they'll line up for the start. Starting out front are the 20 car and the Motorcraft Ford. Starting in row two will be the DuPont Chevrolet and the GM Goodred Chevrolet. In row three are the Singular Wireless Chevrolet and the Low Chevrolet. In row four are the Pfizer Ford and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. Rounding out the top ten starting spots are the Sterling Marlin Dodge and the UPS Ford. Cool. All right, let's do our best here on this start. Get a 
to speed as quickly as possible and not lose oh gosh he like slowed down randomly that was um interesting problem is is when we get into fourth gear we usually lose them but luckily these guys are terrible and yeah we're fine okay so we're not gonna lose the draft that's real good we're already basically up to speed here just gonna work my way past Kevin LePage it was just like he just slowed down so suddenly I felt like I had to, to juke under him there under that yellow line you know definitely uh, didn't have a choice I felt like but luckily there's no penalties in this game or in real NASCAR if you're certain people. Hey, topical. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know how people felt about that whole uh, yellow line thing for real. I know how how my friends felt. And I didn't actually get to see the race, but I, uh, I uh, kept up with it. And uh, personally, I feel like it's something that they definitely have not consistently dealt with i feel like they they one race it'll be oh you know he just barely clipped that line put him to the rear another race it'll be like eh, i mean he drove down there and passed four cars but i mean eh it's fine so i think i just wish for consistency with these things and i often do with with uh nascar and their their penalties and what have you is is uh oh mike skinner's gonna be mad at me isn't he Probably gonna try to slam into me here. I'm gonna assume. Yep. Ow. Okay. All right. We're good. We're fine. We might want to like try to get him to calm down a little bit. Probably be a good idea. It's like that didn't calm him down. Usually that gets a little bit of it out of their system, but not this. Not this time. Not this time. It'll be difficult to get him on our side or anything, but we might cool him off enough that he doesn't take another swipe at us, which would be nice. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's just like a lot of times with, with their rules and their penalties, there's just not consistency, you know? It would be nice if, uh, if it was always the same across the board for every person, every team, etc. Uh, oh, I should also say, last episode, during the Texas Road Course race, I did put text on the screen explaining that there was going to be silence um, for a bit because I forgot to unmute my mic. And uh, and yet I did see I had a question like, where was the uh, where was the audio or whatever? It, yeah, it was just one of those things where I hit mute for something. I don't know if it was because I sneezed or if it was during the intro part and I just want to make sure there was no background noise. But, um, I forgot to unmute. This is plain and simple. That's all there was to it. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm trying to... I was trying to get past him there, but it didn't quite work out. I was just kind of like whoops well that's not only did that adds anger back to him but it slowed us both down and this could be where we lose the draft from this group i'm hoping not hoping they slow each other down a bit oh wait there's pitting well that'll help some i suppose not with me getting the draft but it'll help some with you know being time to start pitting which by the way it's i'm gonna be close on fuel I think because it said halfway on fuel and it was like lap four or something I don't know I wasn't really paying attention I was jabbering on about crap but yeah I've actually fully lost the draft from the main pack here so this is unfortunate um I believe what I will do with my pit is I will do two tires it's a little risky but we do have the higher tire pressure so they should last a little longer um but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk that. The question is though, can I make it to halfway? Because here's the thing. Those guys are pitting now, which makes me feel like 
I mean, the AI always can go longer than you, though. So, like, I don't know. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm not sure if I should pit now or not. <laughs> um. Oof. Kind of wish I had pitted now. Frick. Well, great. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh my good lord. That was directly behind us, too, because I remember seeing Kenny was behind us. Holy crap, dog. <laughs> Jeezer. Um, okay. Well, that happened. Uh, yeah. I got a pit. How many people will pit with me is the question. I think they all got their pit stop in, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and take all four, I guess, because, yeah. yeah I, I, literally everyone got their pit stop in, so I'm going to be last. This is bad. This is real, real bad, guys. All of those people, even though the they weren't all, like, on pit road fully when the caution came out. So I feel like they shouldn't have all got away with that, but they did. I wish I had just went in with him, but I felt like I needed to stretch my fuel to be safe to make it to the end. Which I think I still might be close on. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is gonna be rough, I feel. Unless we have a couple cars behind us, so we won't immediately lose the draft here. Which is good, but... Oh, 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 oh. They're, they, they, st oh, they're just stopping. Why did, what is happening? Are they all, like, running out of gas? Did they not actually pit? What is going on with this race all of a sudden? Oh, jeez. Well. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. We're not winning this race. Uh, there's no... I, I can't see any possible way we catch up. Because we... I mean, we're not... I mean, we, uh, we could let Skinner buy and maybe... Or one of these guys buy and maybe then draft with, with them. But, like... I don't see how we possibly catch the leaders unless they're going to pit too. Like, this whole thing. What the frick, man? What the absolute frick. Alright, I would rather let them go than Skinner because he's going to try to door slam me again, probably. So, you guys go by on the inside. A couple of you, anyway. Not all of you. Per 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 yeah, preferably. Words. Alright. So. Now we try to make something happen here. These guys are coming off pit road. Like, can I make it? I don't know. I don't freaking know. Alright, I gotta get to the person in the front here, which is Ward. It's the only time chance we're gonna have of, like, catching up is to draft somebody that's gonna go faster and not be just stuck behind somebody else, so... We gotta work this out, guys. We gotta make up ground here, and we're not doing it because... yeah. Okay, that, I don't know where I thought I was going. That didn't work out at all. Wait, lead cars are... What oh, the frick, man? Okay. <laughs> this is a very confusing race. So, nobody can make it. Can I make it? No. There's no way I can make it. Because I've already hit halfway, which was like four laps or something. And there's... Yeah, no, there's six to go. So, I have to pit as well, but I don't... Hmm. I really only need, like, half... Half a take, right? Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> I could go half a tank, two tires, and I'll 
Actually, I might end up winning this race after all of a freaking fuel strategy. I don't love winning races like that, but like... This race has been insane. Like, absolutely insane. Everyone just freaking stops, runs out of gas, whatever it was that happened. It's absolutely crazy. Of course, Jimmy's real mad at me now because uh, he was one of the ones I ran into when everybody stopped. But, like, frick, man. I don't know what I could have done. Um, I'm going to wait at least one more lap. There's LePage, LePaging the field. Pulling out and going slow. That's his trademark. Hey, what a weird race. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to wait at least till next time by. So I can make it that far, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to pit this time by. And I think I'm just going to take one can and two tires. I believe that's my strategy here. The right... Okay, there's no actual f time penalty for doing full. And it's probably better safe than sorry, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, wait, what about... You know what, half a second for repairs when we do have front-end damage is probably a good idea. Alright, so we're going to go with that. Wait, hold on, let's go back again. So then if I do that, okay, no. No difference. Okay, no. Hey, hey, Skinner. How, how's it going again? Okay, fuel tank's almost empty. This I know. The caution has come out again. All right. I have to pit, though, dude. Like, I have no choice. Like, I have no choice. I have to do this. Because I am literally out of fuel. And if you run out of fuel during a caution, you get DNF'd. So, yeah. I have no choice. This is this is bad, though. This I was going to have a guaranteed win, I believe. And now I'm not. So... I could still have a chance, but there's only going to be a couple laps left. I don't know. I think uh, I think our win just got taken away from us there. Caution for... Okay, Kenny Wallace lost his hood. No, nope, won't pit. Um, wait, is the race just over? I think the race is just over, isn't it? God dang it. God dang it. The yellow didn't wave as much as usual. Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. Dale Earnhardt probably isn't too happy about his finish here. He stayed in the fight all race long. Things just never quite went his way. Dale Earnhardt had some problems on the track with Jimmy Johnson. Should be interesting next time they get next to each other on the racetrack. At this point, nobody wants to back down, and we could see some sparks fly. From all of us here at EA Sports and MRN, we hope you enjoyed tonight's race. Next up is Sawmill. So obviously, if I had not pitted, I didn't know the race would be over. I figured it would restart with a lap or two left. But if I hadn't pitted, I probably would have been named the winner. And instead, we're 34th, our worst finish of the year. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But I guess it makes the points a little bit more interesting because we were kind of running away with it. Dang, dude. All right. Well, yeah, we made Jimmy mad. We 
we did get Skinner to be a little less mad at us, I guess. My gosh, that is so aggravating. So, my thought process, of course, was that I, I was going to run out of gas, right? And if it was going to restart, in these, in these games, if you're out of fuel when a caution hits, you just get, you get uh, parked. And so I thought, then I, what I have to do is come down pit road and just hope that I come out ahead of people. But it put me at the rear because I pitted, I guess under caution, which I, I guess is a thing that makes sense. I don't know. What? Uh, I, it was dumb. I shouldn't have done it, but I thought they were going to DNF me. But instead, I would have won. So, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Matt Kenseth wins the race. First win of the year for him. Only the fourth person to win this year. Um, Sterling Marlin, Casey Mears, Ricky Craven, Jerry Nadeau, Kyle Petty, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, and Jamie McMurray. An interesting mixed bag of strategies I'm feeling here. Uh, and then we scroll through the rest of the <laughs> Ashton Lewis. Uh, scroll through the rest of the field here so you can see where everybody else ended up. Yeah, it's definitely a weird mixed bag for a lot of people. Um, yeah. And, of course, Ken Schrader and Stanton Barrett went out in that crazy crash. Looks like Mayfield went out at some point. Um, but, yeah, god dang it, dude. <laughs> so, so angry about that. Wait, where did... Uh... Okay, Gordon, yeah, okay. We didn't lose, like, a ton of points, but, like, yeah. I guess it'll be a little more interesting as we head off to Sawmill now. And, you know, I mean, I thought about it, and you might be thinking, John, you could have reset, you know, done the race over again. But, like, it's Talladega. Crap happens, right? And besides, we don't need the points. We're okay. So, let's head off to... Sawmill Speedway, where I'm going to do another last of first challenge. Welcome everyone to Mill Valley, California for coverage of today's race, the Lumberjack 325, live on MRN. What can you tell us about this track? Well, as road courses go, Sawmill might just be the toughest one ever created. Several tight turns and a steep drop in the final quarter mile leading into pit road. That's going to keep this one interesting right down to the end. Bill Elliott has won the Most Popular Driver Award a record 16 times. It's already been decided that the trophy will be the Bill Elliott Trophy once he retires. After finishing uh, second twice no. to Dale Earnhardt Jr. for no. the Bush Series Championship, Kenseth beat him out for Rookie of the Year in 2000. And he did it without qualifying well. Despite only two top 10 starting spots, he posted a 14th place points finish and a win and 11 top 10s. Dale Earnhardt leads in points so far this season. You know, if I was him, I wouldn't even think about the points. I'd just try to stay focused on getting the best finish I can. After all, consistency is what wins championships. Take a look at the starting lineup. In the front row are the DuPont Chevrolet and the U.S. Army Pontiac. In the second row are the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the Pfizer Ford. Starting the race from row three are the 21 car and the Home Depot Chevrolet. The fourth row has the Altel Dodge and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. Starting the race from row five will be the Team Rusty Dodge and the Cheerios Dodge. In row six, we have the Lowe Chevrolet. So I've, wow, 
Well, they didn't get going. Now Terry hates me. Uh, one issue here. I thought that this was... Okay, that, that tree sticks out a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, this is, uh... This is a bit of a problem. Uh, I thought this was a different track. Honestly, I thought this was one of those ones where the name just changed or whatever. Uh, I've never raced this track before in my life. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I never, never have seen it before. So that's um, a thing. Uh, <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't done a last to first challenge at a track. I don't know. Um, yeah. Wow. I really don't know what I'm doing, clearly. So there's that. Um, hi. This is going to be the, the episode where we lose all of our points, apparently. Not all of them, but uh, a fair amount. Because, like, what is happening? They, like, car doesn't turn. They just shoot past me randomly. Like, they got Nitro and I'm in last. And then they stop coming off the corners. Like, I don't understand what's happening. What is he doing? This is weird. <laughs> Should have slowed down a little more for that, probably. You know? But, whatevs, I guess. Gonna make a lot of people mad. A lot of people mad. Why am I down here? Who knows? I just made my own driver... <laughs> Driver of my own uh, owned car there. All right. Well, we exploded when I hit the wall, so I had to do the quick repair. This is bad. This is real bad. Real bad. I don't know the braking zones, and they don't know what the frick they're doing. Like, jeezer. I might have so many enemies after. You know, things were. Before I took the long break, things were going so well in this series. I was I was winning all the time, and uh, uh, why am I doing this strategy? I'm gonna be last anyway, so yeah. Um, but like I was doing so well, and I had, I had mended almost all of the rivalries and. Uh, this episode has destroyed everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. All I can hope is that this extra couple laps of fuel and tires gives me some sort of an advantage because I am doing so bad. So bad. Oh, gosh. Can't even fully repair the car. Almost kind of wish I had just let it explode and not done the quick repair, but it's like a reaction thing. Just in the episode like that would have been, uh, would have been funny. Oof. All right. Um. Wait. If I pit again, does that give me even more advantage of you? Hmm. That's interesting. That's an interesting thought. I'm waiting to see, like, if they were going to pit. Doesn't look like they are. So I think I do it again. Maybe it gives me some more repairs too. And uh Yeah. These freaking jutting out tree things. Whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> Why are those trees all leaning as well? What is going on? It's very strange. Very strange track. Well, I reckon it's about as repaired and full of fuel as it could possibly be, so... Let's attempt to not... I didn't even have a chance to react, man. They just don't go on the starts here. What the heck? What the heck? It's not my fault! They just don't do what they're supposed to do. Slow down. Okay. Uh, if there was any forewarning, like at all. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> just, just trying to like take this calmly. You know what? We're 27. Okay. You know what? We're making some ground up. Okay, that that turn is weird. That turn is real weird. They're all stopping. Okay. All right. Well, we had just gotten over being in a rivalry with Kyle Petty, but. Look, did you see that? How he like just shot away from me, like almost in a laggy way. It was weird. Like the acceleration he had out of that corner made no sense. Okay, we're fine. Sorry. All right. Yeah, I know. I'm just making everybody more angry. Calm down. <laughs> this is such a weird day. It's such a weird day for for this this game. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm, excuse me, Junior, coming through. Clearly, an expert of this track and all. I mean, I am kind of getting a better feel for it. Now, look at that though. How did he just shoot forward and then back behind? Again? Doesn't make sense. The AI is just so weird here. Granted, I'm not good, I understand that, but like, I just, things are just not acting like they should, I feel. Probably shouldn't be down here, but you know, like, I don't know. Okay, you do that. You just stop randomly, it's fine. Oh, somebody had a, had a problem, ow. Okay. I mean, we're in the top 20, which, given how things were going, I imagine this is kind of like something to be happy about. Like, just they're all doing such weird things. Like, some of them are just real slow randomly. Alright, you're going to be mad too. That's cool. Just frick everyone, basically, because I'm trying to learn the track, but it's like I can't really do that with them doing the kind of stuff they're doing it's like did you just see that how sprig went around robbie there it didn't it just like it doesn't make sense it doesn't look natural what's happening these, these ai cars but whatever all this complaining and i'm in the top 15. um <laughs> i wonder if i can make it on fuel actually i think i might be able to actually i wonder if they will pit is more of the question, I guess. Because I'm feeling like... I don't know. I, I, may, I may have spoke too soon. I probably can't make it from here. But, um... I'm hoping that will give me some sort of an advantage. But, like... Jeezer. Okay, well, I had a chunk of stuff fall. I shouldn't have hit repair, but, like... Again, it's like I see it and I assume I'm about to DNF. It was probably just the hood, right? Or no? I don't know what it was, actually. Um, so are they all going to pit here? I'm going to wait and see. Yes, they are. So I will as well. But I will... I'll only take two tires. Uh, I will not repair. Well, no, I'll repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want chunks falling off causing cautions every two seconds, so. This should gain me four or five seconds, which honestly should put me close to first when we leave pit road. Um, this is all kind of weirdly working out, and I don't know why, but whatever. Strange episode. Come on, go, go, go. All right, yeah, we're gonna come out like second. So that's cool. Oh, a couple, actually one. Who is that? Jamie McMurray. Okay. Question I am not not sure of still is if I could have made it, and I think I think that was a strong maybe. Whoa. I think as a strong maybe that I could have made it. Um, 
I'll never know for sure, I guess. Well, I guess I could know when we hit halfway this run. But. But yeah. Whoops. I need to go down there. Alright. I'm trying not to just run Jeff over, you know? <laughs> as as that almost happened. Um, okay, so I I got over the curb there. Jeff I heard him hit the inside wall he drove it in so deep. He lost no momentum. In fact he gained momentum and just drove away. That physics are really, really weird in this this freaking race. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um, so, Jamie is driving away. Can he make it on fuel? It's making me believe that I could have, because maybe he pitted behind me or something? No, I was last. I don't know. For some reason, he stayed out, and he is taking advantage of it, for sure. Alright. And there is some weird shenanigans in this race. I don't know if I can actually catch them, to be honest. Like, every time I think I'm kind of getting a feel for things, something weird happens. Or I make a dumb mistake. So, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really know. I, I'm starting to kind of get a good feel for the track, at least, I think. Oh, well... That's the line, right? <laughs> okay, well, five to go, and look at our fuel. Yeah, I think we definitely could have made it last time. However, we would have been all damaged and dropping stuff on the track, and we would have restarted behind Jamie, and who knows if it would have even led us to getting out in front, really. I mean given what happened shortly thereafter. So, honestly, I feel like pitting was the right call, even though we didn't really need to for fuel or tires. Um, I feel like it was the right call for the damage. But, uh, I feel like we are going to finish third in this race. Jeff is getting further and further away from us, so. That's about as good as I've done the S's this whole time, so that was pretty cool. I need to figure out this last turn a bit better, though. See, that doesn't make sense to me. I lose a bunch of time there because it doesn't make sense to me. It's like it's a turn, and then it turns again. I mean, it's basically two turns, like an oval, you know what I mean? But it... It feels like it's all still being gradual, but then it's like, no, it's a little sharper right at the end than you think. So I need to, like, be out wider at that point or something to be prepared for it. I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of like, it's similar to this set of turns, actually. It's real tight at the end of it, which I have definitely done those turns better than that. But now it's, like, in my head, and I'm thinking about it too much, and I'm making more mistakes, so... Whoa. Okay. You just go ahead and hit those afterburners, buddy. Or, you know, stop. Okay. You tried to take me out. He did try to take me out. Rearview mirror is bouncing. Alright, I'm going to swing out wide. It really didn't help. The car just never freaking turned. Um, so... Okay, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. I drove it in too deep. Hello, my name is John. I drive it in too deep. You should know this by now. Yeah, I was a little too cautious there, but whatever. So yeah, they're gone. Uh, will Jeff end up passing McMurray for the win? Probably. 
he has definitely caught him. So I'm, I'm going to assume Jeff will end up winning, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice for Jamie to get a win, but I'm going to guess that Jeff's going to pull this one off. Did you see that? He just drove in there, no brakes, shot past me, but then into the wall. Oh, dear. Somebody blew up, and that fricked up Jeff, brought him back closer to me, and may have sealed the win for Jamie, actually, if he doesn't run out of fuel or whatever. Wow. That's interesting. I think that was the 27 car. Was that chain meal or whatever? So, yeah. He, uh, he somehow got in front of Jeff for a second there, and that, uh, slowed Jeff down, and I think sealed the deal for Jamie Mack to get a win this year, which is not something we saw coming. <laughs> Wait, he's in the Rookie of the Year chase thing, right? Chase, you know what I mean. Rookie of the Year points. Um, so, uh. It's going to be really huge for him. Not that he probably wasn't already going to run away with it, but you know, it's kind of for sure. I kind of thought I might close the gap on Jeff, but it's just, I don't know. I'm not consistent enough, I guess, to really gain on him every, every time by. I make mistakes that the AI just doesn't make. Uh, that's the best I think I've done that turn, and it was still wrong, so. You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. <laughs> that's what it sounded like he was saying. Oh, it's like, Jamie's slowing down. Oh, I hope he's not, like, about to lose this, because I see Jeff really close the gap there. Big time. Go, Jamie. Run away. Don't let Big Bad Jeff get you. He'll get you a win. Oof. What a weird episode, guys. What a weird episode. Honestly, most of these races have really gone our way in a, in a big way, though. So, like, I guess it was about time we had first a bad finish and then just a weird the game is broken kind of a finish. Although that was kind of what <laughs> happened with the uh, the last one, too, to be fair. Um, but, uh... Alright, we're gonna hold on to third, and I believe Jamie McMurray won the race. So good for him. Yeah, I don't know if we would have made it on fuel. Jamie sure figured it out. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Well, to be honest, Joe, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. Just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you really can dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup race. Dale Earnhardt didn't finish where he had hoped, due in part to the damage on his car, I'm sure. Yeah, you can't expect a good finish when you don't take care of your car. But sometimes that's easier said than done in this series. There are certain times when you just have no place to go. Dale Earnhardt had some problems on the track with Brett Bodine. Well, when you're out there beating and banging on guys, Among some others. are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads. We hope you enjoyed today's race as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. We'll see you next week at the Tiburon Super Speedway. Yeah, th this was definitely uh this was definitely a weird one, guys. Nothing went really the way I thought it would go. That's for sure. And we ticked off so many people today. Holy cow. That's unfortunate. Um but hey, <laughs> Jamie McMurray won the race and he led the most laps so good for him uh jeff gordon ended up second he probably should have won he never led a lap that's crazy uh <laughs> we went from 43rd to third you know all things considered pretty good but my gosh what a weird race we got bobby labani christian fittipaldi ryan newman ryan newman is just always in the top 10 Jeremy Mayfield, Jeff Burton, Michael Waltrip, and Rusty Wallace. And here is everyone else. Yeah, just a strange, strange set of circumstances. Uh, Jerry Nadeau led nine laps 
<laughs> and finished 33rd. What happened? That was weird. Maybe the weird pit strategy situation or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was Chase Montgomery, not Shane Neal. Chase Montgomery went out, and that's what gave Jamie McMurray his win. Realistically, because it slowed Jeff down. But uh, anyway, let's move on. All right, let's look at the standings after that nightmare. Uh, we still have a pretty good lead, honestly. Uh, what, what, what is it here? It's uh, 200 and... F nah. 64 points so not not bad not bad uh could have been a lot worse realistically jeff didn't finish super great at talladega where we finished in the back so there's that uh and then uh ryan newman like i said he's always in the top 10 and there he sits third in the points junior marlin stewart johnson labani wallace burton usual suspects quite honestly but um but yeah, so we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. Let's look at the... Uh, <laughs> a lot of people mad at us now. And not many people happy. So let's look at the awards. For Talladega first, we got Tony Stewart with the Paul Award. Matt Kenseth with front runner. Mears with picking up places. Newman with fast pace. Mears with rookie of the race. And McMurray with move of the race. We didn't get an award. At all. Uh, it's all mill, Jeff Gordon, Paul, McMurray, front runner, me picking up places, Gordon, fast pace, McMurray, rookie of the race, of course, and Rusty Wallace with the most exciting pass. Who knows what that even was? Let's look at rookie of the year. Jamie definitely gained a bunch of points on Mears with that win and should probably hang on to win the whole thing. I didn't really know it was this close, but still, in the grand scheme of things, it's not super close. Um, a lot of rookies. Uh, Pole award. We still only have the two because we don't qualify very often. Manufacturer. Chevy's doing just fine. Lap champion. I don't foresee us losing this realistically because we had the short track domination. So we got a, a lot of laps up on people with that. Um, but yeah. How many people have led at least a lap? 18. So... That's interesting, but that's going to do it, guys. So that's weird. He said next up would be Tiburon. I'm pretty sure I heard him say that, but in fact, it's Daytona Beach, which uh, I kind of forgot about. That's kind of scary, actually. Uh, but yeah, we're going to Daytona Beach, not Daytona, the, the paved track, the actual beach track that they used to run a million years ago and then also the brickyard 400 something that's actually going away next year in real nascar they're just gonna be doing the road course it's pretty weird actually but yeah this race is gonna be another disaster i'm calling it now i might actually qualify here because i feel like in the back everyone's just gonna stop going in the first turn and i'm gonna destroy like 500 people uh <laughs> so i might qualify for this race because i'm not good here historically when i played these games and, and raced at this track so i'm not looking forward to it uh brickyard brickyard i'm pretty good at and i and i might be able to get away with last to first there it's gonna be a little difficult like passing wise but like i could probably get away with it and here i could probably get away with it however to avoid like absolute melee at the beginning i should probably qualify so i don't know we'll see but anyway thank you guys so much for watching sorry about the long delay and hopefully we don't have that again if you enjoyed hit the like button share with your friends subscribe if you're new and i will see you next time for more of the do it for dale fantasy cup and nascar thunder 2004 bye